Hi, my name is Scott Weinkiewicz, and I'm the author of Go Wider with Panoramic Photography, available from Peach Bit Press. In this video, I want to do a quick tutorial on how to use a leveling plate and nodal slide to eliminate parallax in panoramic photographs. So this is my really riced up tripod. It's got a ball head, and you can see it's on an angle right now. Now, obviously, if I was to do a panoramic like this, I would start seeing some distortion, some curvature, probably some uh, ghosting overlays not ideal. So the first step is to use what's called a leveling plate. And this is a leveling plate that is actually designed for panoramic photography because it turns as, um, as well as being able to uh, being separated um, from the ball head. Okay, So you can see at the top it actually has a, a, a bubble level Okay, that's actually separate from the tripod completely. That means I can actually level the plate itself and then because of the twisting capability, which I'll show you in a second, um, I can actually twist without twisting the, uh, you know, the, the ball head, which is not level. So watch this. I'm going to put it in there. And turn this so I can see the bubble level. And now it's level. Now, even though this is level, everything from the um, top of this ball head down is not level perfectly level. So that means if I was to start twisting the ball head itself, it will be twisting on an angle as you can probably see that in the video. And I'll try to zoom that in in post, pro in post of, this, of this video. Um, but let me get this back in place and level that off. Okay. Now what's cool is I can actually take the Le the leveling plate itself, and I can just twist that, which means that the top is always level, whereas the bottom is not. I'm not worried about that. Okay, so that's step one, because you always want to make sure that your panoramics are level before you're actually making the frames. The next step is what's called a nodal slide, and there's a reason why a nodal slide is important. Typically, I'm going to have to visualize, visualize this for you. Um, now I'm going to use two um, iPhone chargers right here because it's easy to see this. Typically, if you are, were to um, set this up on a table and they were back to back, um, you know, like perfectly level or on the same plane, um, and, uh, and you were to set up your camera and then start rotating, what you would see, you set up your truck button, it's like this, and you were to start rotating, you would actually see this, and that's the parallax. That's that parallax shift that is not good because now it looks like you'd have two pieces, which you do. Technically, you have two pieces, but um, if the camera was actually set in the correct way to eliminate parallax, then as you started shifting, you would actually not see that distortion. Again, the distortion would look like this. Non-distortion would look like this. So you would always see only the front if it was distortion free. If it's not distortion free and you have the parallax, you're going to see the one in the back and the one in the front. So the ideal is to eliminate that parallax. And to do so, you use what's called a nodal slide. And the way this works is it's got the numbers on here so that you can actually calculate um, your settings so that you always eliminate the parallax. You can use pencils to do this, batteries to do this, whatever it is, it doesn't make a big difference. Um, so basically, you put this in here, lock it in place, let's turn this, so you can see. Okay, and now what happens is your camera would be sitting in here like this, right? Your camera's going to be sitting in here, you got the lens in here, and normally, your camera is sitting right on top of the middle of the tripod. This is where that parallax comes into play, because your camera is not what needs to be centered over the tripod in order to make sure that the... Um, that there is no parallax. What you need to do is, is slide that back. So to do so, you actually slide the nodal slide back like so, so that the front of the lens is what's centered on the tripod. Make sense? Now, 
Um, let's say you have a really big lens. With this nodal slide, this is also familiar right stuff, with this nodal slide I can actually slide the whole thing back and forward so that if I've got a short one, I can just slide it forward and use less of the, of the slide itself. If I've got a long lens, I can slide it back and then I can also slide this back as much as I need to to make sure that the long lens is centered correctly. So this is um, a pretty basic setup for making sure that you have parallax free panoramics. Nodal slide, leveling plate, tripod. If you have any questions, you can check out my ebook, Go Wider with uh, Panoramic Photography, available from Peachbit, um, or send me an email, comment with questions. I'm happy to, to talk. Thanks for watching.